Hi, this is Terry Fox. We're back to Signal Integrity and Electromagnetic Compliance Training for Mere Mortals. My goal is to teach everyone in the universe how to design high-speed digital analog RF systems that work right and pass FCC CISPR tests on the first try. Uh, so I guess we're up to video four, and away we go. So, one, two, three, four. Okay, termination and topology. As I stated earlier, this ringing overshoot and undershoot uh, is the root of all evil, and so therefore any of the circuits that we use, there is a combination of topology, i.e. the way things are routed together, and termination that must match up or else I end up with all of the evils that came out of ringing overshoot and undershoot. So here we go. Now, termination strategy versus signal shape. Uh, again, these pictures come from uh, Mentor's hyperlinks uh, tool. Very nice tool, uh, but here we go. There are two fundamental, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, routing topologies, if you will. One is direct wave, the other is reflected wave. Now, direct wave switches on the direct or the incident wave. In other words, there's the driver, here's a transmission line to the first receiver, and it switches a transmission line to the second receiver and it switches a transmission to the line to the third receiver and coincident with that is my terminating resistor and so consequently I have the first one switch I have the second one switch I have the third one switch and then when I get to the end of it excuse me this is the driver first second third when it gets to it the termination resistor absorbs the energy so I do not have a reflection back down this line. So it is terminated, it produces good edges for clocks, assuming you've got enough drive strength here. Now, the second type of, of, of uh, topology would be a reflected wave, and the reflected wave switches on that reflected return wave. It is source terminated, not load terminated. Uh, you could think of this as the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So in other words, there is my termination. It is uh, right up next to the driver and what will happen is there's the driver switching. This is the voltage at that first receiver. It comes up and then it flattens out and then finally it goes the rest of the way up. This one is this next green line, comes up, flattens out, not as long as the first one, but then it goes the rest of the way high. And then here's the one at the end, it comes up and it looks like a perfectly good signal. It is, it is going through the switching regions, there is no, no funny shape to it, and everything's fine. So what exactly is going on here? Well, this is a reflected wave system, what I call a one bouncer. The energy is going down to the end, it is reflecting off the last input. That reflection is coming back. So here we go. At the first at at the first one it went all the way to the end. That was the reflection point and it reflected back. At this location, it came down to the point and it flattened because it had to wait for the reflection to get back there. When it sees the reflection, it goes the rest of the way up and everything's fine. I look at this one, which is the closest to the driver. It comes up, it's got a long flat spot before that reflection comes back, and finally it goes up. So the point behind this is that these can be very complex sort of uh, arrangements and we've got all different types of termination schemes that you'll see in digital circuits. Uh, if I was to sort of try to catalog these things, uh, here would be a driver, and, I, and if I put the resistor right next to the driver, this is source serial terminated, and that is a one bouncer. It, it works on the reflected uh, energy. Now, on the other hand, I could have some sort of totem pole where I'm going between power and ground, I could have a situation where uh, I'm just going through a capacitor to ground with a resistor there. I could have a situation where if I had a bus, 
each one of the cards that plug into the bus have got their own termination on the card. Or I could have the bus terminated and each of the cards would just simply plug into this terminated bus. There are many different ways that this thing can work. Uh, if I look at the old SDRAM sort of things on a data bit, well, what we would do is we'd put a single resistor kind of in the middle of those data lines so we didn't have to use so many resistors and for the most part that worked. Now it didn't always work because in each of these cases I, I need to go back and look at that with some sort of signal integrity tool to see what's going on. Well, uh, so these are various topologies that we might deal with. I might have a balanced T going to a three-legged split uh, for maybe driving uh, three clock inputs on a uh, memory circuit or whatever. Um, I could have balance T for address command and control. So that could be the way that I'm dealing with it. Now anytime that I deal with data, data is bidirectional. So that means that uh, in general I would either have to do what we did with the uh, old SDRAM stuff put one resistor in the middle or I would have to have a resistor at the driving end. Well the problem with that is with bidirectional data it could be driving from the memory controller or it could be driving from the SDRAM. So anyway there are multiple ways that this stuff works. Now this would be a non-balanced T sort of arrangement and you can get all sorts of funny uh, waveforms out of this uh, but the point is, in order to see what you're doing, you're going to have to see this on uh, some sort of simulator to see what's going on. Uh, if you are part of my class or something like that, then, then we have uh, labs uh, to go through this. And if you're just picking this up off YouTube, then uh, go ahead and go to SIEMC.com uh, right there and we'll see what we can do for you as far as uh, getting you hooked up with labs. Now, if I was uh, DDR2, then they have a differential clock as opposed to a single-ended clock, and there were schemes for differential terminations. DDR3, again, schemes for differential terminations. Here we might be terminated to VTT as opposed to being uh, terminated to power and ground or just line to line. Uh, with the advent of DDR2 and DDR3, for our data bits, we had controlled drive strength and on die termination. So these things were wonderful because we got rid of a lot of uh, resistors on the board and made life a lot easier. So the nature of signaling and termination, it's either direct wave or it's reflected wave or some combination of the two. Uh, if you're taking the labs, uh, then these are just some explanations of the lab and their full videos on each lab uh, so you can go through that. So the simulation labs are on SIEMC.com and again signal integrity electromagnetic compliance training for mere mortals uh, my goal is to teach everyone in the universe how to design high-speed mixed signal electronic systems that work reliably at full speed and pass FCC and CISPR tests on the first try.